too. What's good in the hood? Getting ready to go to work. Man, I... After this video, I'm going to send this video to this guy that I'm making this video about. Because... Like, come on, man. Are you seriously going to be fucking crying on Facebook and shit? Facebook Live? I'm going to send him this shit. After this fucking video is over, I'm going to wait till it uploads, then send it to his ass. People like this need a fucking... They need to... A reality check, you know? They need to just... They need to man the fuck up, you know? You know? They need to stop putting their problems on fucking social media, you know? That shit's annoying and that shit is just doesn't look good for you, you know? This dude's crying, you know, on social media. His girlfriend broke up with him and shit. But you know what, though? What the fuck? That looked like one of the ex co workers. I didn't know he smokes. It looked like him. But anyway, um, yeah, man, like, he's crying on Facebook Live. He had, like, an hour and 30-something minute video. This is the same guy that I made a while back, a video a while, a while, a while back. He met this chick, you know, in this same town that I'm in. He met this chick online. Like, they barely just started talking. Like probably, like, a day or two in. And then he asked her where she worked and shit. I mean, at first, I wouldn't, you know, say where I worked, you know. But she did it, you know, trusting him and, you know. Oh, he's a good guy, you know. This dude goes all the way across town in his bike to go visit her at work. With flowers and shit. And the next day, she ghosts him. Supposedly, he said, oh, this chick ghosted me. What did I do wrong? <clears throat> Motherfucker, first of all, you're just barely talking to this chick. And you want to go fucking go to her job? And go bring her flowers? I mean, yeah, it was probably nice, but that's fucking creepy, dude. I mean, I wouldn't have done that. I mean, maybe a month or two, you know, talking and, you know, oh, yeah, I'll go visit you. Or I'll bring you some lunch or I'll bring you some flowers or whatever. This dude comes all the way across town and brings your flowers. What the fuck? She got freaked out by that shit. You know, but this guy, I mean, he, he meets someone he's in love already the first day, you know, and this one, he actually lasted probably like a month. Usually the girls he talks to, it's like a day or two, but this dude, this dude fell in love with her like the first hour. I remember their, their relationship or whatever. He posted it, that, he, that they were hanging out. And the next day, boom, he was in love. <coughs> you know? And that shit was getting nasty, you know? He was talking about fucking... Having... Like, it was like sex quotes and shit. It's like, dude, no one wants to hear that shit. Oh, you know, I'll do it again or whatever. And I'm like, dude, that shit's gross. No one wants to hear that shit. Especially you, man. I mean, and your chick, ugh, she's that ugly as fuck. But come on, man, you gotta, you gotta stop this nonsense. You're older than me, dude. You're probably like 38. You're older than me. Honestly, you need to worry about your health and, you know, your, you know, yourself. You know, you're almost 40. You know, this, this guy is the same guy that, you know, he is always saying, oh, I'm lonely. Uh, I hate being alone. I need a girl. I need a woman. I need this. I need that. He can't stay single. The two years he was single, he, he fucking hated it. He was saying, 
he was doing love quotes and and posting, you know, that he needs someone. And like, dude, this shit was getting old. I mean, I keep it, I keep him around, you know, just to laugh at this shit, you know. I mean, he's kind of not all there, but he is there. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he says and shit. I don't know, man. This guy... And, and when I try to give him advice, I try to talk to him, he fucking ignores me or he, or he has a smart-ass remark. I'm like, whatever, dude. And he's always, he's one of those people that, oh my god, no one wants to talk to me. Oh, fuck all of you. But when someone does talk to him on his comments or or messages, he fucking either reads it, doesn't reply, or he, or he says something, you know, oh, well, you're just being a hater. Or you're just doing this. You're just, motherfuckers are trying to help you. People feel sorry for your ass. How are you going to fucking... Say people don't talk to you, but they're trying to talk to you and help you, you know, guide you and, you know, from, you know, falling in love too quickly and shit. How are you going to do all that shit? But then trash people when they're, when they're negative or they say, oh, you should worry about this. You should worry about your family. Man, you need a wake up call, man, for real. Just worry about yourself. Worry about your life, your friends, your kids. You actually have kids. Worry about them. I'm out.